Guess we're doing this. Really, guys? Stay down. いらっしゃいませ Really, guys?
Hey. Hey.
八神さん八神さん Stay down. Hmm. Good stuff. Back to it.
Leave it to me. Okay. <laughs> Naturally. guys. There you are, Tuck. Kaito-san. You're here early. Early bird nabs the murderer, yeah? Hoshino-kun dug up some dirt on Hashki. I heard the Kyore clan attacked Mafia last night. You already talked to her? Yeah. She seemed... happy. Probably because you came to the rescue. Yagami-san. Is Genda-sensei still out of commission? No, he'll be here this afternoon. He didn't sound very energetic when we spoke, though. Gotcha. Anyway, back to what you asked me last night. I looked into Hashki's murder. Hold up. I want to hear this, too. Toru Hashiki. Former vice director of the ADDC. 51 years old at the time of his death six months ago. Found lying face down in a Kamarocho back alley in the middle of the night. He was unconscious, horribly beaten. He died in the hospital three weeks later. It took the hat long? Yes. Apparently he was comatose the entire time. Were there any witnesses? Not to the crime itself, no. However, quite a few people saw Hoshki in a drunken argument beforehand. With a man in a black raincoat. And that's all we know about the culprit. A black raincoat? 
As far as I can tell, the police never found him, but who knows how hard they looked, right? And, well, that's all I could find. Little more than a general overview. Thanks, Hoshinokun. This is great for now. Kajihira claimed Hashiki's murder was premeditated, yes? Huh? Yeah, that's right. But there's no evidence to support it whatsoever. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. If the culprit intended to kill Hashiki, wouldn't he have finished the job? Seems kind of sloppy. On the other hand, if it was just an unfortunate run-in, the circumstances would make more sense. I don't know. I think it's the other way around. Huh? If you ask me, whoever killed Hoshki was a freaking pro. What makes you say that? Yes, do tell. Just look at the end result. Hoshki died and whoever's responsible got away with it. Now imagine if the cops found him dead in that alley. That alone would be cause for investigation. If he's just unconscious, though, it's easier to just call it a street brawl and move on. I mean, that's just another day in Kamurocho, right? True enough. I suppose the incident never made the news because his death didn't come until so much later. Despite how well known he was in the scientific community, that is. So the killer beat Hoshki until he sustained a fatal wound, then backed off? Is such a thing even possible? It is if you're a pro. <laughs> Guys that good totally exist. It's just rare to see it happen. Know what I mean? I admit it would make sense. But we can't say for sure without evidence. More or less. What kind of evidence do you mean? Something like an investigation report. I want to know the cause of death. Which I guess means another visit to our old friend Ayabe, huh? I'm way ahead of you. Called him myself last night, but, uh... But what? His hands are tied because of all this Kuroiwa business. <sighs> Should have known. We got someone else coming in his place, though. Meeting at the same place as before. Lamont. You're gonna come, right? Sure. Let's do it. Let's hit it. Looks like we got some company. Mm-hmm. Hold on. These guys are Matsugane. Weird. I don't think they're too happy with us. Oh, yeah? Well, what gave it away? Maybe they think we're working with the Kyore clan. Either way, doesn't look like they want to talk it over.
Really, guys? Am I bad? Got it. All we gotta do now is meet up with Ayabe's boy. Any idea what he looks like? Nope. Bet he'll talk to us first, though. Let's hope so. Well, time to start looking. Excuse me, sir. Hmm? Are you talking to me? Sit. Seat next to me. Hurry! Hmm? Do I know you, or...? This is no time for jokes. I'm not? Can you please... Now, are you okay doing this here? Or would you rather go somewhere a little quieter? Well, can we slow down for a second? No, we can't. Let's get this over with. Yeah, but doing it right here? Uh, sorry? All right, listen, you're very pretty, and you clearly know what you're about, but I'm more of a take-it-slow kind of guy, you know? I don't like to rush into these things. Yakumi-kun, can you seriously not tell it's me? Wait, the... Uh, who? What the heck? Mafuyu? I hate to break it to you, but when a woman comes on that strong, she's not after what you think she is. Right. Uh, anyway, what are you doing here? I'm here on behalf of Ayabe. Wait, but... Really? Why did Ayabe send you? He gave me a call this morning out of the blue. Said he needed me to help you in his stead. Here's the investigation report on Hashki's murder. This is what you want, right? You took it from the prosecutor's office? Isn't that, you know, problematic? Hence the disguise. Think it's okay to hand it over here? This is really intense. All right, try to stay calm. It's okay. Think of it as a thank you for saving me yesterday. One more thing regarding Prosecutor Izumita. Hmm? They're planning to arrest you under suspicion of murdering Shintani Sensei. I suggest you figure something out quick. Will do. Thanks. Bye then. Who was that? She was smoking. That was Ayabe's replacement. Huh? What do we got here? This is the investigation report. From Hashki's murder. Mafuyu stole it from the prosecutor's office. Mafuyu-chan? Are you saying that woman was her? Yeah, I just made the same mistake. You should check this stuff out, Tok. This is Hashiki's resume. Looks like he was pretty well educated. They brought him on as vice director four years ago. Meaning, he was already with the ADDC when you were busting your ass defending Okubo. Seems like he and Kido were responsible for deciding how much money to give each project. Hashiki had more influence than I realized. This here is a map of the crime scene. 
Pashki was found lying here. An hour before that, he was seen drinking in a cabaret. This one. Place called the Queen Rouge. They charge an arm and a leg, but hell if they don't make bank off it. Was Hashiki drinking alone while he was there? Nah, looks like one of his colleagues was with him. Wait, it was that guy, Shono. So the two of them came all the way from the center just to grab a few drinks. The question is, why? Beats me. After they left the club, Shono grabbed a cab by himself. He claims he went back to the center and had a chat with Kido. The taxi company's records back that up. Meaning Shono has an alibi. Kido too. Yep. As for Hashki, he had an argument with a man in a black raincoat. Then they found him on the ground. Shit beat out of him. Three weeks later, he was dead. That's horrible. The cause of death was a cerebral contusion due to blunt trauma. The culprit hit him 14, maybe 15 times. No fingerprints, so he must have been wearing gloves. All right. I think we understand how it all went down. So, what's our next move? I want to take a little field trip, see for ourselves where they found Hashki. The Queen Rouge is right near there, too. Good stuff. Back to it. Kaito-san, mind playing the part of Hashiki? Guess not. He was round here, yeah? 
How's this? Wow. You look so... lifeless. You could get a job doing this. Oh, shut up. Okay, so, six months ago, just past 11 p.m., Hashiki and Shono finish drinking. Shono gets in a cab. Hashiki stays and argues with a man in a raincoat, after which he was found here, beaten half to death. But Shono got in the cab on Showa Street, meaning Hashiki and his friend went somewhere else just so they could have their little scuffle. It's definitely quieter here. Maybe this is always where the murderer planned to kill Hushki. And what makes you say that? I don't know. Just a hunch. Big Mr. Detective. Anyway, I think we got all we can. Nothing's gonna be left from six months ago. Yeah, you're right. Queen Rouge. <laughs> so even stuffy, honest scientists come to places like this. Hashki wasn't exactly honest. Or a scientist. I was on Kajihira's payroll, remember? Looks like they're not open yet. Hope someone's in there. Hello? Is anyone here? We're not open yet, sir. May I ask who you are? I must also point out that this club is members only. Oh, uh, you know a Hushki from the ADDC? He told us to stop by. Hushki-san? Sorry, I've never heard of him. All recommendations must come from a current member. You know Hashiki-san's dead, right? He got beaten to death six months ago, right after leaving your club. Who are you? You're clearly not cops. We're private investigators. Yagami Detective Agency. We want to know what happened that night. You think I'm a goddamn elephant man? I can't remember something from that long ago. We don't need you to tell us. You have girls working here, yeah? If possible, I'd like to talk to the girl who sat with Hashiki-san. Get out of my face. I have no obligation to help you. How about this? I'll talk to you once you're a member. If you can get a recommendation, that is. Let me say, though, our rates aren't exactly what I would call cheap. I don't have time to go hunt on a recommendation. Then get out of my face. Hold on. You guys are recruiting? And? Think this girl fits the bill? Pretty damn fine, huh? Hmm. Well, she's not bad, I guess. Not bad? You, my friend, have impossibly high standards. Look, we only go for the hottest chicks. That's how we rake in the big bucks. But there's more to being hot than just looks. You gotta have something extra. Some charm, you know? What the hell are you doing, Kaito-san? Mafuyu's gonna be pissed. If you can think of a better way, be my guest. All Mafuyu's gotta do is get hired and find out what Shono and Hoshki were talking about. Don't be an idiot. We can't ask her to do that. Hmm. Huh. In that case, how about her? <laughs> sorry son She wouldn't stand more of a chance than Mafuyu did. Who else do we got? Whoa, whoa, who's that? Now there's a girl I want to see. Huh? That photo's not doing her any favors, but polish her up and she'll shine like a diamond. Trust me, boys. See what I mean? Even Hoshino-kun's got the hots for her. Seriously? You run this club, yeah? That's right. Please bring that friend of yours over here. I want to see her for myself. 
Hell, I'll hire her on the spot. I think we can manage that. Come on, Tuck. Uh, I'll be waiting! Well, looks like we're sending Sauri san in there. It's the quickest way. Easier said than done. How are we even gonna get her on board? I don't know. She likes dessert, right? Just give her something sweet and call it a day. You think she'd really go for that? I bring sweets to the office all the time. Sounds to me like you're gonna need the Kaito of desserts. A dessert to crush all other desserts. Oh, yeah? What'd you have in mind? Do I look like a dessert menu? This is all you, buddy. It was your idea, jackass. How's it going, Yagamishi? There's something I need help finding. <laughs> what is it this time? I need the king of desserts. Something that a sweet tooth hound would do anything to get. <laughs> That's the oldest trick in the book. You think a modern woman's gonna fall for that one? Oh yeah, guys still do it and girls still eat it up. Really? Dating sounds pretty stupid. But anyway, I'm up for a search. Hit me with some keywords. Hmm. Uh, let's try sweets and limited. Let's give it a shot. Sharing my screen with you now. Uh, that's hundreds of hits too many. Can't do a lot with results like that. <sighs> so much for limited. Let's try adding another word to narrow it down, Yagamishi. Incredible. You narrowed it down to one result. Really? Nice. The Yagamishi. Oh, uh, this one isn't gonna work. Let's try a different word. Uh, that sort of worked, but not well enough. Your girl especially into red beans? Nah, she's not too picky. Uh, how about we try something else then? Nope, barely made a dent. Just the whole country's dying for matcha. It's the only damn flavor anyone makes. What? Well, looks like that's out of the question. Let's, uh, try something else. Yeah, that one brought it down a lot. <laughs> oh, smart, smart. I've never thought to go by the shop and not the snack. I mean, she can't have had a dessert from a store that just opened. <laughs> That's my Yagamishi. Should be easy to keep going from here. Yeah, let's toss Kamurocho into the mix. That did it. Mm, what do we have here? Famous Kyoto sweet shop Takamitsu's Kamurocho branch now open on Shichifuku Street. Perfect. I'll head over there now. You know those are limited quantity, right? I don't know if you can still get them this time of day. Guess I should get moving then. <laughs> I don't know who you're going through all this trouble for, but she's a lucky girl. Good luck, Yagamishi. Gotta run, Tsukumo. Thanks again. <laughs> I'll be rooting for you. <laughs>
Really, guys? ありがとうございました。Not a wise choice. That could be time. <laughs> Good stuff. Back to it. 
ありがとうございましたI don't care how long you've been running in Kyoto. If you want to open a shop in this town, you gotta to follow the rules. I, I told you. I already submitted all my documents. We don't give a shit about your documents! This is about knowing your place! I, I, you don't mean, uh, uh, protection money? <laughs> protection? I don't know what you're talking about. We just want to make sure you're following the rules. Excuse me. Mind if I squeeze past you fellas? Then who the hell are you, huh? Sorry, buddy, but you're gonna have to come back later. We're in the middle of something. I'm looking for one of your special mochi, sir. Hey, uh, uh, um, well, uh, uh... This ain't a joke, asshole! We're talking here! You better beat it before this gets ugly. If anyone needs to beat it, it's you. Oh, yeah? Somebody might see you shaking this poor guy down and call the cops. Heck, I'll do it myself. Huh. You think you're safe because you're a civilian, huh? We'll think again. Come on! Let's wreck this shithead! Show these Kyoto fucks how things work around here! now and I won't call the cops. Now go. Damn it. Hey, thank you so much, sir. Oh, that? That was nothing. As I was saying, I'm looking for one of your special mochi. Uh, my apologies, sir. We're all sold out for today. Sold out? Oh, damn it. I should have come sooner. Uh, oh, uh, wait, sir. I think I have one. Huh? We keep a few separate from our regular sales batch, you know, for TV interviews and the like. There still should be some of those left. Wow. You guys are the real deal. Think I could buy one? You can have one for free after what you did today. I, I insist. Really? Well, I guess if you don't mind. Well, I, I should be going. Thank you again, sir.
Hmm? Genda Sensei, how do you feel? Fine, I guess. Just got back in the office. Oh, sorry, son. I got you this. Yagami. Sorry, do you mind if I talk to sorry son real quick? This comes first. We've got business. Huh? Take a seat. Sit down. I've got business with you. You're not talking your way out of this one, Yagami. Hoshino-kun told me everything. Everything about... All this shit with Shintani. I told you to back off, but you went and dug even deeper. Now you've got Hoshino-kun wrapped up in this. Shintani was practically a son to me. Sure, I told you that before. Knowing he's gone, I can barely get up in the morning. My appetite's gone too, and I'm just forcing down food. What am I gonna do if I lose you and Hoshino-kun, too? Something came to me when I was in bed, thinking about this. If things keep going down this path, is it even wise to keep this office up and running? That's not how I want to think about it, though. Huh? One of my own gets murdered, and I respond by lying in bed whimpering about it? <laughs> Not happening. If you don't have the will to fight, you're never gonna last in this town. Every single person in Kamurocho is pursuing a dream, trying to claw their way forward, bit by bit. If you don't want to get your ass chewed up and spat out, you gotta keep fighting, even if you have to fake it. If I can't fight after what happened to Shintani, I might as well just close up shop. Yagami, you're serious about this, aren't you? You really want to avenge Shintani? Yes. Good. In that case, Hoshino-kun is at your disposal. I'll eat the cost till this murder is solved. We're gonna find Shintani's killer, no matter what. And until we do, I'll pitch in however I can. You just say the word. Thank you, Genda-sensei. One condition, though. No more victims. After everything that's already happened, I can't afford to lose anyone else. We'll be careful. As for the next step in our investigation, uh, I'm gonna need a little help from Saurisan. Saurikun? Hmm? Good, aren't they? By the way, <clears throat> there's something I need to ask you. Absolutely not. Oh, come on, Saurisan. You ate all that mochi, didn't you? Those were a trap. I don't approve of such trickery. Come on. Could be fun being a hostess for a day. Though what that club owner sees in you is beyond me, that's for sure. <clears throat> It'll be fine, Saurisan. We're not asking you to be their number one girl. No. If we got you a new dress, you'd look the part. It'll be one of those extreme makeovers. No. What about that mochi? I'll get you some more if you do it. No. I don't think she's gonna budge, Yagami. Guess not. I don't even know if the manager was that serious anyway. What do you mean, not that serious? What do you see when you look at Saori san, huh? No, it's not that. She's just clearly not into the idea. But why would she be with the way you're approaching it? Talking about how she doesn't have to be the number one girl or giving her a makeover. If you'd look a little closer, maybe you'd understand. Saori-san could be the best hostess in this whole damn town if she wanted to. 
Isn't that right, Saori-san? If you really believe that, I guess I could give it a try. Wait, huh? what? I'll do it. I'll become Orocho's number one hostess. That's what I'm talking about! Okay, uh, you can pick out a dress, Yagami-san. And she'll need a haircut and makeup, too. You don't mind shelling out for this, do you? Hmm? No, it's fine, but I have to pick the dress? Don't worry. There's a shop around here that caters exclusively to hostesses looking for outfits. You can't go wrong at a place like that. But how's she going to be the best if she goes to the same store as all the other girls? The primary goal here is finding out what Hoshki and Shona were talking about, right? Yeah. Then stop complaining. Becoming the best will just happen naturally. Let's go, Yagami-san. We have a dress to buy. See? I knew you had it in you. Huh. That worked out just fine. Yeah. But I'm kind of afraid of what'll happen if things don't go well at the club. I'm sure it'll go great. Knowing Saori-san, how could it not? Yagami-san, the go-to place for Saori-san's dress is La Marche, over on Showa Street. That's where all the hostesses in Kamurocho buy their clothes. And why do you know that exactly? A, a good number of our clients happen to be cabaret girls. <clears throat> uh, anyway, send me a picture of Saori-san once you've picked a dress out. I'll recommend a good stylist based on what you go with. It feels like this really ought to be you doing this. I'm ready, Yagami-san. Yep, let's do it. We should start with the dress. Stay down.
Good afternoon, sir. Welcome to La Marche. Hey, we're looking for a dress. Specifically one for a club called Queen Rouge. Any recommendations? But of course, sir. Now then, our dresses are right this way. How's it going in there, sorry son? Almost done? Hold on a second. I don't usually dress like this. You know, it almost feels like we're on a date. Mafia won't be happy about that. Sorry son. You've known Mafia you since you were a kid, right? Yes, we were close in our early teens. But then we grew distant and didn't reconnect until law school. Right, I remember now. Mafu's family was wealthy, so she knew how to socialize. Whereas I preferred to keep to myself. My classmates often bullied me. But whenever anything got too bad, Mafu was always there to protect me. Even then, she wanted to be a prosecutor. She didn't know it at the time, but I really respected her. Is that why you decided to go into law? Yes. At first, I wanted to be a prosecutor, too. But ultimately, protecting the weak fits my personality better than punishing evil. Sorry, Yagami-san. I'm not normally this talkative. Everyone has a story to tell. Speaking of which, Mafia looked up to someone, too. Hmm? When she was just a young girl, she and her mother were victims of a hit-and-run. Yeah, she told me about that. Her mother threw herself in front of Mafuyu, but ended up unstable and unconscious for a while afterward. Yes. They ultimately caught the culprit, but Mafuyu's mother was still comatose at the time of the trial. With how young Mafuyu was at the time, it was difficult for her to explain to the police what happened. But the prosecutor was very patient, investigating every last detail of how the accident happened. Wow. He fought for justice in place of a victim who couldn't fight for herself. In fact, that may have been Mafu's first love. Huh? The prosecutor? He's Mafu's boss now. Mori Tassan. Huh? That's pretty crazy. Never expected she'd be into older men. Do you remember when I first introduced you to Yagami-san? We were all drinking together at Tender. That was the day Mori Tassan had married another woman. So, I wanted Mafia to meet someone better. That's why I invited you. Huh, now that you mention it, she did seem kind of down that night. <laughs> Does it surprise you? Actually, I think I'm falling for you now, Sari-san. Wait, what? 
Where is this coming from? Uh, if this is a joke, Yagami-san, you have terrible comedic timing. <laughs> Come on, I'm just messing with you. What an ass. Anyway, I'm done changing. Hmm? Huh. Not bad. You think? Oh, hold on. Let me get a picture. Huh? Uploading photos without an individual's permission is... Sorry. Hoshino-kun asked me to do it. Said he wants to figure out the best makeup for your dress. Huh. And speak of the devil. It's me, Hoshino. You're a natural at this, Yagami-san. Saori-san is as beautiful as ever. Man, this is incredible. I should have tagged along after all. <clears throat> so, which salon should we go to? Oh, uh, right. There's a place called Cherry, also on Showa Street. They do top-notch work. It's not far, either. Got it. Thanks. Welcome, sir. What can we do for you today? You look better than I expected. I'd rather you didn't stare like that. Sorry, sorry. Anyway, let's head to the Queen Rouge. Hey, smile for me, beautiful. No. Oh, she's a knockout. I'll knock you out. Oh, no, I meant a dress. Just a dress. Hey, girl. Yo, what club you work for, huh? You got a gig tonight, babe? We'll pay you double. Hey, where's she work? That's where I want to be. Huh? Oh, well, um...
Yes, come right in, sir. Thank you for choosing us yet again. Hmm. Oh, it's you. Where's the girl? You're gonna bring her, yeah? How soon can she start work? Tonight, as long as there aren't any problems. Girl's got potential, but we'll see whether or not she's got what it takes to shine. <laughs> Holy shit. This is Sari Shirosaki-san. Ah, uh, uh, you have the job. <laughs> You're like a freaking angel. Come work for us, please. I'm Shirosaki. Nice to meet you. I think she's still kind of nervous, but she'll warm up soon enough. No, she's perfect. I'm loving that I don't care vibe. Huh? I've never really entertained anyone before, but... Not a problem. Not a problem at all. It looks like that. Who needs experience? <laughs> Let's get you situated. Right this way, beautiful. This is the first and last time, Yagami-san. I know. We just have to figure out what Hashiki and Shona were talking about. The hostess they were with should know. Okay, I'll track her down somehow. I'll call you once I do. Sorry, son, was it? Follow me. Now, you said you don't have much experience. But honestly, you seem okay to me. Your responses have been spot on. Do you mean that? See? That humility is key. Young girls like you are way too casual nowadays. I'm not even that young. We're on the high end of Kamurocho clubs, you see. Naturally, our customers are of a higher status as well. Executives from massive corporations will come here to entertain guests, or celebrities will come to throw parties. Given their social standing, it's important to be as polite as possible. Understand? Yes. Other than that, is there anything in particular I should be aware of? Number one is try to stay engaged, no matter what. Act like you're having fun, and toss out tons of compliments. So I should kill them with kindness. And once they drain their glass, get them to order another. Ask for one for yourself, too. You're saying I need to beg? Oh yeah, these guys will do anything you want if you just ask nice and rub up on them. I'm not doing that. Either way, you're not going to be the only girl at the table. Just do it like the other hostesses do. Well, that's how everyone learns coming in. I'll see what I can do. Okay, it's almost time for opening. You'll be starting on the floor, Sauri Sam. Good luck. Hi, I'm Sumi Ray. Hiya, I'm Mika. Hey, I'm sorry. Another pretty girl to round out the trio. Come, come, take a seat. Pardon me. And so, as the young blood in the company, I was called on to make a sacrifice. For the greater good. A sacrifice? They're working you to the bone. It's a shame how much some places impose on their workers. Hmm. But you'll persevere in the end. I just know it. Oh, you can tell? Of course. I get the feeling you're super reliable, like you'll do whatever needs to be done. <laughs> A feeling, huh? That just means you don't know for sure. No, 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 no. She can see how valuable I really am. Now she just has to convince my boss. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to interrupt the fun. 
You've been requested by another customer, Sumire san. Ah, apologies. You'll have to excuse me. Well, that's how the professional world is. If you want to climb the ladder, you have to be persistent. Yes, precisely. Have you ever experienced something like that? Huh? I... um... Have I mentioned how much I love your tie? What? This old thing? <laughs> I bought it on a whim while I was in Italy for business. You have great fashion sense. Not many Japanese men could pull off that look. So true. I can't look away. Wow, I didn't realize you had such a good eye. <laughs> Maybe I'll check that brand out myself someday. <laughs> Just warning you, they're not cheap. So sorry about that. You were covering for me that whole time. Don't worry about it. I'm used to paying attention to my surroundings. You really have what it takes, Saori-san. Way more than me. I don't know. You seem to be far better adjusted. How long have you been working here? Hmm, maybe six months? At least I'm better now than I was back then. I was the worst girl in the club, without a doubt. One time, a customer even yelled at me. I remember it like it was yesterday, and I'm always so scared that it'll happen again. It's okay. We all have down days at work every so often. Uh, about that customer? Um, well, after he left the club that day, he... he died. What? You probably heard about it when it happened. He got drunk, got in a fight, and then died from his injuries. He was apparently pretty important, too. Involved in researching this new drug called AD9. You mean Shono-san from the ADDC? Huh? Shono? Oh, yeah! He was there, too. That's the guy who was drinking with Hoshki-san. Right, Hoshki-san. He's the one who died. Wait, you knew him? Oh, um, yes. It, it was all over the news. I poured the drinks Hashki-san got drunk off of, and it was my carelessness that made him upset. I can't help but feel responsible for him getting in the fight that killed him. My sales numbers aren't so good either. I'm kind of worried that they're going to fire me. I know I should do more to boost my numbers, but I always think back to Hashki-san. About that, Mika-san. Mika-san, Saori-san, you've got a customer. <laughs> Be right there! Sorry, that got kind of dark, huh? Sorry, son. You good? Oh, sorry. I'm heading over now. <laughs> Let me see here. Why don't you splurge on something fancy? I wish I could, but the wallet's kind of light this month. Aww, really?
Hey, don't be like that. You're here to have fun, aren't you? Oh. She's right. Though I can think of something even more fun than this. Uh. Uh, um. All right. Give me your finest booze. Yay! You're the best. Fresh bottle coming right up! You're incredible, sorry son! I've never seen numbers that high before. Don't thank me. That was all you, Mikasan. Hey, let's go grab some drinks. My treat. I want to pay you back for tonight. <sighs> I couldn't. Actually... I know just the spot. Wanna go there? I can't wait to learn more about you, Mikasan. Totally down. We just gotta hang in till our shift's over. Hello, Yagami-san? Hey, any luck? Yes. I made friends with the girl who served Hoshki six months ago. We're gonna bounce and go to tender in a few. Perfect. Wait, did you just say bounce? Forget that. Where are you? At my office. A lot happened after I dropped you off at the club. Care to elaborate? Well, maybe later. This is the first and last time, Yagami-san. I know. We just have to figure out what Hashiki and Shona were talking about. The hostess they were with should know. Okay, I'll track her down somehow. I'll call you once I do. Hello? Hoshino-kun? Sarusan made it in, thanks to you. Got a job at the Queen Rouge and everything. Great. I knew her beauty was nothing to sneeze at. Thanks for taking her around, Yagami-san. By the way, what's the plan for tonight? We wait for Sari-san to call us. <sighs> Not much to do, but wait till then. I'm gonna go kill time around town. Be careful out there. Yeah, will do. <laughs> <laughs> 